what was your original vision and how closely did it turn out to what you thought you would see? I mean, thankfully, thanks to the talent of the entire cast and crew, I think the final film is very similar to what I initially envisioned for the movie. The only calibration I would make is the very, very, very first pitch before um, any treatment or screenplay was written. Uh, the very first pitch, my first instinct was that Nadu and the Predator would uh, form an alliance together. Um, and, the, and the Predator was going to be younger. So they were, they were more like reflections of each other. They were more similar in age. Um, and then I realized very quickly uh, that, that that ruins all the fun, that the, the, the power of the premise is the David and Goliath story is um, taking someone who's up against the impossible to find out what they're made of. Um, and so, and I didn't, and I didn't want to make it easy on her at all. Uh, how about you, Jane? I, I mean, this is, this is, this is your baby. I, I, as much as it's Dan's baby, this is your native baby. This is just incredible. Um, I, I think of an incredibly thought of, painting that you see of native people and you're like oh that's really beautiful and then you find out it was by a native artist and you're like oh my wow you know that's kind of what i felt like you really brought to this 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 cumulative cumulative effort of the both of you what you did well how do you feel seeing this jane and, and what your original thought were funny and, you should say that um about being a baby dan this is so crazy i was taking a shower and it popped into my head just because i have four children most people know all my children so um, this is like my, my fifth child. It's really like my child because, you know, the birth of it is in the script form. And then we're in pre-production, hoping all of this works. And then you're working with all the different departments all the way down to language because you have to teach your baby to talk, right? And I was like, oh, my God, this is like, you know, this, the, the, I mean, then I thought, well, is that kind of weird to say that? Because is it like an alien moment? Like I'm having a <laughs> you know, <laughs> Sigourney Weaver moment alien or whatever. Baby. <laughs> yeah, an alien baby, but I guess I do have an alien <laughs> but, but no, seriously, all of that, you know, even down to the language, because the language is the final part, because when you're raising your children, you have to teach them to speak too, right? So uh, to, to me, it's amazing. And for me being a native producer, I was able to not just have only native people in front of the camera, because, you know, we have Amber, Dakota, we have our whole core cast of, you know, of natives, uh, but also, you know, behind the scenes, we were able mm -hmm. to offer, offer through this production opportunities to other native people to see what it's like to be working in different departments, you know, as, as apprentice people. And then some of them still work, you know, I, I get messages and, you know, uh, Instagram messages and, Hey, I got on this other show and I'm doing this or I'm doing that. So that's, to me, that's incredible as well. Yeah. And all the way down to the final credits, right? Did you see where the, uh, the uh, hide art, you know, is in the final credit? That was my next question. Okay. So in the high, so me being a fine artist, right. From a fine artist background, I was able to go out and recruit, um, native fine artists to replicate you know the key moments of the uh of the film and all of this you know is because of dan dan's like hey what do you think about this because i had showed him my daughter's ledger art and he had seen ledger art and we know cave art because i did this whole thing on cave art and because i live in new mexico i visited every spectacular yes yeah, so That's what i was just telling the the, the uh, sarah be before this uh mm -hmm. wow did i love the the end credit art and the, the ah! And not only that, the, the predator's face, I was like, that is awesome. Where are the medallions of his face? They're, they're common. That's, 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 the, that's, the, <laughs> that's the merch. I want one. <laughs> Absolutely. Because, you know, I mean, you know, for Dan, he's like, well, what, what would you think if it would be like this? And I'm like, sure. So actually, I, you know, I, I went and did the herd show and I wasn't even in my booth if people went by. And I, I was talking to all the different ledger artists. So like we got the top artists, you know, we got Jonathan Thunder, we have Dallin Maybe, uh, Sheridan McKnight, you know, we even have Comanche artists, Nakona Burgess, uh, Jay Nicole, uh, Brent Lerner. You know, all of these people had an opportunity to work with, you know, animators, right? And to be a part of this project. And just the fact that everybody loves Predator, they don't have to love me. They can love the Predator. And it's like, oh, I'm working on this project. You can't tell anybody, but it's a Predator. Would you be interested in work, uh, working on illustration? Oh my God, I'm down. What do you need? How can That's I do so it? Awesome. 
How <laughs> was you, Jane, and you, Dan, bringing these two worlds together? How, how'd that go? In there? I'll say, I'll say, you know, something that didn't, wasn't really overt, but I think that the aesthetics of the predator always sort of borrowed from tribal culture. Um, and, and it's weird that I'm not really processing this. I think I maybe it did occur to me, it's, but, but it's really, you know, like what's great is that like now there's a movie inside the franchise that, that, um, that puts the aesthetics and the, um, uh, and the authenticity and all of the internal stuff that goes in behind that culture back to the culture itself. Um, so it's not just barred for um, this creature though I, that I think bars from a lot of tribal cultures, but, but it's just nice to see that the, that the um, protagonist of this movie. Um, it's cyclical. Yeah. Yeah. Totally yeah cyclical, cyclical. Huh? So like for me, what I liked about it is that first of all, the look of the predator, right? Because he looks more primal. It's not your daddy's mm -hmm. predator. Okay. Or it's not your <laughs> uncle's predator. You know, it's right. a, it's a predator that no one has seen I before. Like not your daddy. <laughs> I like that. So, uh, but like for me, I'm a, uh, I'm a rock climber. And so one of the things that I liked is, you know, when it was being developed and I really had like very little say so, but I was like, he had like a little dew claw, like a little, you know, outer toe. And I'm like, he needs that because he jumps from tree to tree and you know as you know with rock climber your outer foot your little toe has as much power you know I've been like before lifting myself up you know and trying to grab something just with one one little toe so you know to me that was kind of my contribution but I I like the melding of like you know the natives have our core values which we still have today right and then yeah. the predator he's still operating on his values you know and and uh his his little rules of his life so it's kind of neat to see those because they transcend through you know centuries yeah it was beautiful cinema cinematography amazing it was like watching a painting and i love uh amber mid thunder as the teenage mutant native turtle <laughs> <laughs> So you guys, it was just really wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, you so much, dude. Thank you. Thank you. Good to see you.